Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here, coming at you with a full jumbo case of 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball, eight box jumbo random division number two. Uh, what's, let's see, five autos a box, no common ship, but everything, everything else will. Big thing, we did this all fillers, right? Uh, Daniel, David, Steven, Chad, Jeremy, Shannon Wheaton, all six of them won their way in by a filler. So congrats, you guys. Thank you very much for the fill. We got one more case loaded up if you want to get into it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. There are your divisions right there. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Randomize names and divisions. One and a four, five times each. One, two. There's two. Three, four, and... Fifth and final time, we got Jeremy down to Stephen K. One and a four, five times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, and five. NL East down to NL West. All right, Jeremy Port, you got the NL East. Daniel with the AL West. Shannon with the AL Central. David with the NL Central. Chad Daw with the AL East. And Stephen K with the NL West. Let's alphabetize by division. And we're going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Um, and then we'll have the break. So stick around. And we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. TWC trade window closed. You can see that right above my head. So thanks to everybody here on Sunday the 10th. Thanks for spending a bit of your Sunday with me. Here's a random division break, no trades. 2021 division jumbo. 2021 jumbo, eight boxes right there. And let's see what's been marinating in here since 2021. Got a decent rookie class in here. Um, there's always good vet current star autographs. Maybe even some old school autographs right here. And just a lot of hits. Five chrome autographs per box. Luis Robert, Ronald Acuna Jr. on the box. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what's going on. On MLBTradeRumors.com, Marlins hire Pedro Guerrero as hitting coach. They also hired uh, Clayton McCullough, the Dodgers' first base coach, as manager. Apparently, you know, obviously we're, we're in rumor season, so you don't know what you could really know to be true in terms of the level of team interest. But Diamondbacks, Nationals, Yankees among teams interested in Christian Walker. Um, Reggie Jackson steps down from Astros front office role. I didn't even realize Reggie Jackson had a front office role there. Kenta Maeda wants, uh, or Tigers to give Kenta Maeda every chance to earn back a rotation spot. I don't know, I think the stove has been pretty, pretty quiet. Roki Sasaki is officially posted, or not officially posted, they're, they're going to post. Roki Sasaki, the next Japanese pitching sensation. I don't know when, but they are. Blue Jays, Orioles, Red Sox interested in Max Fried. I'm sure a lot of teams are. Preston Mattingly is uh, promoted to general manager of the Phillies, which I thought was pretty cool. He was a decent prospect, right? It's Don, Don Mattingly's kid, but a decent prospect, and I think eventually he... Could have, I guess, he's still pretty young. I think he's, what, late, late 30s or something like that? 
think at a, at a point he could have continued with his major league career when he was a lot younger, but he's he hung him up kind of early and was like, you know what? Put me in the scouting department. I want to learn the business. And, and he worked his way up, so good for him. Here's Willie Adenis, 100 out of 150. Rays edition back in 2021. So obviously refractors like this will ship. That'll be for Tampa Bay, uh, AL East, Chad Da. But obviously commons like, like that will not ship. Obviously rookie cards will ship. Um, obviously inserts will ship. This Clark Schmidt, Dylan Carlson, I guess are worth sleeving up. Clark Schmidt for the AL East, Chad, NL Central, David will get the uh, Dylan Carlson's. You've seen Dodgers fans already guaranteeing Roki will be a uh, will be a Dodger. I don't know. This team actually might have a better shot. The Padres and here's Jojo Romero. That's our first autograph for the AL East. Jeremy Port Phillies. Apparently, Roki Sasaki's uh, sort of baseball hero is Yu Darvish. Yu Darvish on the Padres. And I think I think the Padres also have like Hideo Nomo maybe working in the front office somewhere. But it's interesting because Roki, oh, sorry, Roki Sasaki will be posted so early in his career that he's only subject to a minor league contract, and there's like a there's like a maximum on it. There's Adonis Medea for the Phillies. So anyone thinking like the the Dodgers or the Yankees are just gonna muscle their way into with their financial might? muscle their way into Roki Sasaki. That's not, that's simply not true. This is where scouting and organizational, you know, scouting and organizational strength and the quality of your front office and the coaching and the that's where that starts to come through. It's Rod Carew. Baseball, insert, 44 out of 50. That's going to go to the Twins. That's AL Central. That'll be for Shannon. I think so, yeah. I think Otani said one of his favorite players was you, Darvish. I suppose that tracks sort of generationally, right? And here is Dane Dunning. Dun, 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 dun. That's for the White Sox, AL Central, Shan Wheaton. I think Otani's almost, or Darvish is late 30s or something like that. Refractor autograph to 499. So I guess maybe in their sort of prime baseball watching age, maybe like middle school or high school, maybe you Darvish was doing his thing out here in the United States. You Darvish also, I think people may not remember this, but in his time in Japan before he came out here, I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to remember, he was pretty much a rock star. I think he was married to Lee, who obviously a very good pitcher, you know, so that already gives him celebrity status. And then I'm pretty sure that he was dating or or is married to like a famous Japanese actress or something like that. Maybe someone's going to have to fact check me on that, but, but he was pretty much a rock star in his home country. There's Taylor Jones for the Astros, uh, AL West, Daniel. 
So that's one, two, three, four autos right here. I'll do an autograph recap at the end too, but we should be looking for one more auto here. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that a lot of sort of Japanese pitchers now. There's our last auto. It's another one for the AL Central for Shannon. That's Zach Birdie. And there's Ryan Mountcastle. Rookie Refractor going to the AL East, Chad. Pretty solid player there. All right. There's our first five. Next box. I think Sasaki, I was reading Sasaki's like slider or sweeper or whatever. He has, is modeled off of Darvish's slider. But Dodgers are one of the few teams that uh, that I think has been uh, scouting Sasaki since um, since high school. They've been kind of talking with him, recruiting him since high school. Blah blah blah. blah. I don't know if every team's been doing that, but that's what the Dodgers did with Otani. That they scouted Otani since high school, and I think I think the Dodgers would have gotten Otani if there was a DH in the NL. At the time, there was no DH in the National League. There's Eugenio Suarez at 399. Rafael Devers refractor. Suarez will go to the Reds. Uh, the pink peril is at 399. NL Central for David. Luis Garcia. Astros, uh, AL West, Daniel. 104 out of 499. Just like it's just like this, this guy's feet right there. And there's a Mitch White rookie autograph, former Dodger. This will still go to the Dodgers. This will be NL West, Stephen K. Really, you're in that situation, and AD goes out, and it requires more from everyone else. And Jackson stepped up to that moment, played both ends of the court, and gave There's Bobby, da Bobby Dalbeck, rookie refractor for Boston, AL East. It'll be for Chad. 
But, it's supposed to be pretty solid. You know, the, the bench itself tonight, when you think about we were flat in the first half, d gave us a lift. We executed another... Uh, Here's a Vlad Guerrero Jr. 27 out of 199. And then... AL East, Chad. Uh, Jackson off the bench in the second half were, were great. JJ, um, in this setting over the past 20 years, it's been a pretty common question. We have... Opposing coaches like an Astro. We've got uh, Brandon Bilek. The score or the distributor. Gold auto for the AL West. Daniel. 40 out of 50. Here is Carlos Hernandez. Royals, AL Central, Shannon. And it's not like he's taking the night off. He's still got to guard the other team's second best perimeter guy. And I, I just think it starts with that. It's his mindset that it is to compete. It's something that I thought, you know, we t I think he talked about it with you guys after uh, Friday's game. It's something we talked about. It's just like there was a few stretches of games on that road trip where it just wasn't there that, that as a coach that's surprising because it's something that I sort of trust night to night with our group is that Austin and there's our fifth auto that's a Chadwick uh, Trump uh, it, it, the first half tonight was just a weird sort of game he's got a funny uh, really a funny story a where obviously just, his last name you know, we had times we I think he's in the Braves organization uh, now but because of his last name, I think the team shop sold um, I don't know the number of whatever number Trump was president 45. So they sold Trump 45 jerseys. They did quite well. I think he's with the Braves now. I don't think if, if he was in the Giants organization, I don't know if that if that one would have sold as well. Pretty sure it's Chadwick Trump. Look it up. Chadrick Trump switches from number 48 to 45. I don't think he switched because he claims that he he doesn't even... Yeah, I think he, I think he was born in Aruba. 
I think he has no... He has no uh, real knowledge of American politics. Anyway, mildly amusing. All right, next box. It's Fernando Tatis Jr. 299. It's not the Dodgers who get Roki Sasaki. I don't, you know, you got to think it's. I think the Padres really have a good chance. Jonathan Stiver. White Sox. Another one for the AL Central. Shannon. Where does uh, where does this guy go? Pete Alonso. He's a free agent. Where does Juan Soto go? All stuff that'll be percolating on the hot stove. Here is uh, Ryan Castellini. For the NL West, Stephen K, 32 out of 199. There's a key Brian Hayes rookie refractor for the Pirates, NL Central, David. There's world champion Max Muncy, 298 out of 399. That'll be for the NL West, Stephen K. And there is for the Yankees, Nick Nelson. The Yankees and Mets might be the main teams battling for Juan Soto. This will be for the AL East, Chad Dock. Cards get a little stuck together here. We got some gold shimmer over there. Behind the future stars, Devin Williams. I think he ended up winning Rookie of the Year 2020, uh, 2020, I think. Brady Singer, and it's Anderson Tejada, rookie gold wave autograph. Rangers are in the AL West. That's for Daniel. 17 out of 50. And that gold really pops nicely. Should be looking for one more auto here. And there it is. That's Tucker Davidson, rookie auto for the Braves, A L E or N L East. That's for Jeremy Port. All right, another five. Box four. Three boxes in after this box, we will be halfway through the break. Not sure what else is going on in the in the baseball world. I think things have been kind of quiet. Are so confident in the capability of 
availability of our SUVs and the performance of our sedan. I guess this Will Venable wants Grady Sizemore on the Chicago White Sox staff. MLB has grave concerns for the Diamond Network reorganization plan. That kind of leaves a handful of teams in, in a little limbo here. Angels, Zach Neto has surgery, may miss part of 2020, start of 2025. Yankees pick up Aaron Boone option. It's really of not, not, nothing too significant. Reds honor Pete Rose with a 14-hour visitation at the stadium. Thousands of fans streamed into Great American Ballpark despite steady rain to pay respect to Pete Rose. The 14-hour visitation honor of Jer Rose, Rose's jersey number was arranged by Cincinnati Reds with cooperation from Rose's daughter, Fawn and Kara, who exchanged hug stories and even some tears with fans. What was his? Oh, I guess they were just kind of gathering at the Rose statue. Anyway, that's, that's a pretty cool tribute. All right, onwards. Good luck, everybody. There's you, Darvish, we were talking about. There's Lucas Giolito to three ninety nine. It'll be for the White Sox. Shannon with the AL Central. And there is Jemai Jones for the Angels. It's going to be AL West, Daniel. And there's Garrett Cole. Green, oh, that's 32 out of 99. And his current teammate, Jazz Chisholm. It's as if Topps knew. Garrett Cole, AL East. And Jazz Chisholm, rookie refractor, NL East. I think, I think that change of scenery did him really well. So maybe that, maybe that increases Jazz Chisholm's... Uh, value over time. Here's Yerman Mercedes, rookie auto for the White Sox. Shannon in the AL Central. Got, got the shots there. Lewis Brinson, 188 out of 199. And we've got a uh, Sterling Sharp autograph. Oh, not that Sterling Sharp. Or Shannon Sharp, even. So this is baseball player Sharp. I think they spell their last names differently anyways. That'll be for the Nats. That's going to be for the uh, NL East, Jeremy Port. Obviously, you know, the number was called in Detroit. You can't make some plays too. 
the future star, future World Series champ, Gavin Lux. There's Jorge Mateo, Padres. So feel free to pull me some AL East autos. What, is, are, is the AL East the only team I've not pulled an auto yet? NL West, Stephen K. Chad, you got to learn how to play to the whistle. We still have four boxes left. We've got another 30 minutes to go. Another 5, 10, 15, 25, 20 autos to go. Can't, you're already up here. Here is uh, Roni Garcia, I think, Detroit. AL Central, that's going to be for Shannon. 178 out of 250. And Luis Camposano. All right, halfway through the break. Another four boxes to go. It's not how you start the break, Chad. It's how you finish the break. Just ask the Detroit Lions. They had a bunch of Chad Dawes on that team. They're not winning that game. Well, Chad, you, you of all people should know in the hobby that even if you if there you only got two out of the twenty autos, but one of those autos was a super fractor auto, makes all the difference. All it takes is one. Away we go. Second half of the case has officially started. Good luck. There's Justin Upton to 399. That's going to be for the AL West, Daniel, to 399. Andy Young, you got to change your attitude, Chad. Got to turn that frown upside down. Always grumpy in group breaks. You got to honor the hobby gods a little bit better. A NL West, Stephen K. It's not about numbers, it's not about volume, it's about quality. Get too caught up in volume, man. That's not, that's not really going to work. Please don't keep count. That's so annoying. Don't do that. Franklin Kalame. Cologne. Mets. NL East. Jeremy Port. Well, you can keep count on your own. Just don't keep count live. <laughs> well, I mean, look at the autos we've pulled, Chad. You, you can argue that. I'll bet. I'll bet if you've got if you had ten, if you had half of the autos, 
you still would be complaining because you're like, oh, I got five autos, ten autos, but what good are they? I feel like you'd be complaining anyway, Chad. You could have 19 of the 21 autos, but you'd be like, oh, they're nobodies. I'd rather have one, is what you'd be saying. I don't think I'd ever win. There's Nelson Cruz to 199, NL Central, AL Central. Here is uh, Jorge Guzman, rookie auto. And that will be NL East, Jeremy Port. But now the 22 on yours, the 20, worth the 22nd most. Is Kieber Ruiz, rookie refractor, Dodgers edition. Now I, th I think you'd complain at a, I think you'd complain at any time. Here's Dane Dunning. AL Central, Shannon with the White Sox. Out of 150. And a plate auto. On plate autograph. That is Carlos Hernandez. Carlos Hernandez. Uh, that's for Shannon. AL Central and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Just give me the total at the end of the break, Chad. I don't need a, I don't need an auto by auto count. That's annoying. I mean, really, you shouldn't be complaining until we get to like the last box. I think, I think even if I pulled a Ryan Mountcastle out of you at the beginning of the break and a Yankee that you've heard of at the beginning first box, you'd be complaining anyway that there wasn't enough autos by the end. I don't think I'd win, Chad. You'd always be complaining. To 199, Christian Pache. You disagree? I, I don't think, I don't know. You've been breaking with for a while, Chad. I, I, I know the pattern. Awesome, he scored 22 of his 27 points in the second half. He's in the locker room valley. Austin, that 20 through 9, the gap that you guys were able to create there in the third, just to kind of turn. I mean, if you don't get the biggest hit in the break within the first box, it's curtains for me, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to wear it the rest of the break. Here's Aaron Fletcher, Mariners, AL West, Daniel. Yeah, no, I just didn't think we played well in the first 
half. Uh, came in, coach challenged us to be better, and <laughs> y'all see what I go through around here. Clark Schmidt, rookie refractor. That'll be for Chad in the AL uh, East. Orange wave coming up. Do like that orange. That should be the 25. It is. It's Drew Rasmus. Drew Rasmussen was a brewer? Isn't he a Ray right now? When did this deal happen? The whole time, obviously, you're going to you know, go through ups and downs. And, uh, you know, I think not playing well on that road trip might have been a good thing for us. Uh, huh. to, you know, complete yeah, he was a brewer so, you know, what we from 2020 to 2021. The Brewers traded. Oh, this was the Willie Ademis deal. Rasmussen and JP Fieresian went to the Rays in exchange for Willie Ademis and Trevor Richards. You got it. Thank you. Yeah, I think he was. He yeah he had a forearm flexor strain this year. He just had a decent season. Yeah, eight starts, four and two record, two six two ERA, forty seven strikeouts over forty four innings, and then had to get a internal brace procedure on the elbow. Missed the remainder of the season. I think he should be back by the beginning of next year. Bo Bichette, 13 out of 99. Future Stars Green, AL East, Chad. Not trading him, said Toronto. They're not, not doing a rebuild. They, they want, want Bichette there, Vlad Jr. there. That's their core, they said. We got Ashen Godot. Rookie auto for the Rocks. That's NL West, Stephen K. Ramon Laureano, 58 out of 99. Green Wave, little color match for the then Oakland A's, 58 out of 99. Uh, AL West, Daniel. And we got Matt Foster, refractor, rookie refractor, autograph for the White Sox, AL Central. 427 out of 499. Should be one more auto in here somewhere. And it's it's Cody Hewer, rookie autograph for the White Sox, AL Central, Shannon. All right, two more to go. Oh, sorry. I thought that was a different parallel. All right, two more to go. Fingers crossed, everybody. Good luck. Ten autos to go. I feel like we still need to find kind of a big name. I mean, haven't really seen a big name yet. All 
All right, fingers crossed. Good luck, everybody. Ooh, what's going on here? That card looks like something different. Dalton Varsho to 150. That's for the NL West, Stephen K. Uh oh, Rex, don't look. Oh, I thought there was going to be an auto. 37 out of 99, Captain's Cloth, Nolan Ryan, Astros edition. That's for the AL West for Daniel. I think we still should get our five autos, right? We better. There's Chris Bubich, rookie auto for the Royals, AL Central, Shannon. I think that's one of the better autos we've seen. And there's another Ryan Castellani, Castellini. Rockies, a uh, NL West, Stephen K. I'll do a little autograph recap at the end here. There's Nick Castellanos, 126 out of 350. That's uh, pink, magenta, speckle. NL Central, that'll be for David. There's a Seth El Elledge for the NL Central. David. And we've got Roni Garcia, uh, AL Central. Shannon with the AL Central. There's Freddie Freeman. And we got Luis Garcia Blue, rookie auto for the AL West Astros. And Garrett Crochet as well. Two, three, four, five. Plus the captain's cloth. All right, Chad, we're on the last box now. You can let me have it. And everyone else, too. I don't know if I, I've, NL Central might be in the same boat as you. All right. Last box, final five autographs. This is random division break number two. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Appreciate it. Chad's done with the break already. Sorry, Chad. I thought with all those all those autos remaining, I thought we'd, we'd get some more.
All right, five autographs to go. Let's see if we can finish strong here. Got Tariq Skubal. All right, that's all right. Might win a. Uh, might win Cy Young for the AL this year. Tariq Skubal, purple, forty-one out of two ninety-nine. Got Jazz Chisholm. Hyper parallel for the uh, NL East for Jeremy. And we've got Bo Burrows. Autograph uh, one of five in the final box. AL Central. AL Central has had a load of autographs, though. Shannon, congrats. There is Anoli uh, Paredes for the Astros. AL West, Daniel, with that one. There's Mark Khanna. 65 out of 75, blue wave for the A's. AL West, Daniel. And we got a Monty Harrison rookie autograph for the NL East. That is Jeremy Port. a good question. Depends on how you define greatness, Rex. With Nolan Ryan. And we got another Astro here. AL West, Daniel. I think what's weird about Nolan Ryan is that He's never won a Cy Young Award. And the fact that he, that the long, the longevity, the number of strikeouts, and the, the no hitters are pretty incredible. You know, obviously a Hall of Famer. You know, so he's already up there with the best. I don't know if he's the greatest though. All right, final autograph. One of the greatest for sure. Is going to be for the A's. That's Jonah Heim, and that is for the AL West. That's for Daniel. All right, I'll be honest with you. Nothing too crazy in this case. Let's do the recap here. But for, here's the recap here. But yeah, I know Chad, sorry man, pretty disappointing break for you, but I think all of you got in via filler, so maybe the lower price that you paid has got to soften the blow a little bit. Did get that plate. But hey, listen, nothing ventured, nothing gay. Not every case is gonna be a banger. Sometimes we have to get through cases like this before we find the real monster cases. One out of 40, sorry man. But listen, at least you paid a, you know, at least you didn't pay full price. So hopefully that, that'll be the silver lining there. Thanks everybody, listen, we got another case in the store, another one, let's see what's been marinating in there. Maybe we'll find, you know, we gotta keep hunting for the monsters. So let's hunt for them in the next case. 
jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you guys next time for the next one. Bye-bye.